Hello everyone. I hope this finds you well. It's a full moon. So let's see what the energies are saying. Let's go with the angel tarot. How's everybody doing? You can see my snacks and stuff back there. <laughs> I'm trying a new angle. You don't need to see the snacks. You don't need to see the snacks. Okay. Sagittarius. Three of water, that's a celebration. That's coming together with friends. Maybe you had a recent outing. I'm feeling like a neighborly kind of thing. Nine of air, and the rest of them, that, so four fell on the ground. Nine of air was the only one that um, was upright. So it says expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, and sleepless nights stressed about something this could be like a even like a global energy you could be like a part of a culture that's very stressed right now worried about some kind of abundance coming in as i see the waterfall rushing in there's fireflies here they're like butterflies so it's change change could be happening fast or you're anticipating this, you're fired up about something. Something could have recently changed and there's just ashes left in the air. Something could have burned to the ground, so to speak. It's justice, release, and five of air. Five of fire, excuse me. Which is five of fire really reminds me of that ash energy. It's like there's some kind of conflict um, behind you if you release it and allow the universe its justice to balance things out in the best way possible so it's just saying okay it is just keep moving forward is the kind of energy though that's easier said than done there still could be a lot of worry, anticipation here, as you see these two unicorns here cradling each other. The end of a phase or a situation, there's a spiritual transformation. It's time to move on. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Air. It says, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of the situation, a challenging beginning. But your wings are open, so that means your heart is open for new things. You're not f flying here in this card, or this could be you or someone around you. It's like you haven't quite taken off, but you're ready to. You could at any moment. There's a life experience, which is a tower, and the awakening, which is um, judgment. So something major has happened or is about to happen or happened in the past that you're dealing with. Ace of Fire is at the top, so something that you're inspired about. It says an exciting new opportunity or could be expired. Expired? Something's expired. Career advancement, change your life now with King of Earth. So making more money, an exciting new opportunity, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch. Because these are at the top of the deck, it's telling me to look up, to not look at the past, unless you're saying, that's not what I want, but what I do want, and how do I, um, like telling your mind this motivational, um, you know, like one step closer to my goal is one step closer. And I'm going to keep taking steps to my goal until I get there. And it's not like, and I heard something about this today. It's like you're not, because some people put themselves down in their head a lot. And it's not about putting yourself down. It's like, okay, so you want to make a change, but you don't believe that you can make a change. So you start off small realistically 
realistic affirmations such as I can do this today and this is possible. I can take one step forward today and another and another and another. And I can stay disciplined to and make that plan like I am staying disciplined to create the life that I want and love and cherish. Seven of Earth was reversed. So it's like something's happening quick. You could need to move quickly. <clears throat> like time is up, the hermit, like, and it's reversed. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, but it's like um, you've thought about it enough. You, uh, you already know the answers is what it's telling me. And don't give up, nine of fire. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. <laughs> and balance, temperance. Sagittarius, believe in yourself. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for the perfect timing. So this is the energy of, is as you keep moving forward, whatever it is that you're going towards, whatever it is that is your goal, your intuition is going to nudge you, as it always does. But this is a reminder to stay in balance that you'll know the signs when you see the signs. And you're probably already seeing signs. But it's hard to see the signs if you're expecting worse and you're having sleepless nights. I just heard, just wait. Night of Earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel, which is like the seven of pinnacles reversed and the hermit reversed. It's like, it's time to go now. It's time to do it now. It's time to make the plan. The water is running. The, you're in the flow. Do what you know you're supposed to do. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Be loyal to yourself. Be dedicated to yourself. Whatever this project is, be honorable and be kind. Kindness will get you very, very far in life. I have learned. And five of water was reverse. Five of water on this card says things not turning out uh, the way you hoped, but it's reverse. So things will turn out the way you hope. It will turn out really, really well. If this is a, a love relationship, Carefully weigh your decisions and focus on your good health, taking care of you. Make sure you're being balanced in um, all areas. Mm -hmm. Night of fire. Maybe you're really passionate about someone or something adventurous, self-assured, restlessness. This is someone, um, and I've heard it several times, it's like, it could be someone that dates a lot. It doesn't have to be. This is a very general reading. I hope it helps in some way. But it says, again, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. All right. Think things through carefully. The Empress is reversed. Again, lavish abundance. So you might feel not very abundant right now. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Maybe this is not a time of when all your dreams come true, but it is a time of working towards your dreams. You don't see everything into fruition. This is like saying, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. You could have gotten yourself in a little wobbly place, and immediately when I saw the waterfall, it reminded me of this card, the Empress card, and how, see how her creativity is constantly flowing. She has endless ideas, endless inspiration. She's consistently giving birth to prosperity, prosperous thinking, um, prosperous actions, kindness, goodness, honorability. She's dependable, honorable. 
She's very nurturing. This is a time to nurture yourself, take action. We're going to get more angel cards because this is a, a, this is a message for someone. This is a serious message. Forgive someone. Forgive my hair. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and was like, all right, we're wind drying today. <laughs> Forgive someone. Forgiveness moves mountains, so to speak. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. And surround yourself with your soul tribe. I want to go with the messages from the angels. Did I get all of them? All right. Let's see here. I'm just feeling like a decision has to be made. Like some, some, someone is like sitting on a fence. Doesn't have to be you, it could be someone near you. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Excuse me. Hmm. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Rochelle, is that who that is? Yeah. Mystique. So it's a mystery. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Fiona, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance, right? Because it's the divine guidance that comes. It's, it's that old story of the guy that gets stuck in the flood on top of his house and he asks God for guidance or for help. And a man in a kayak comes or a small rowboat and says, hey man, get in and I'll save you. And he says, no, I'm God. God's going to save me. And he goes on. And the next motorboat comes along and says, get in, I'm going to save you. He says, no, God's going to save me. Helicopter comes. Get in, we're going to save you. No, God's saving me. And then he passes and he gets to God and he says, God, what happened? He said, I sent you three, I sent you two boats and a helicopter. So now that we've asked for divine guidance and assistance from the angels, you deserve heaven's help. Be open to receiving the divine guidance and assistance. Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability, ability <laughs> to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Absolutely. If you're watching Tarot, yes. If you, you're here, I hear three and it's 1338. Maya, schooling, study and education um, help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So the divine guidance that you see, excuse my nails, I've been working and they ripped. Um, the divine guidance that you receive could just lead you to schooling of some sort or like a learning video on YouTube. It could be someone giving you information, um, a teacher of some sort, and then that moves you in the direction of your hopes and dreams. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. Your emotions are healing. Um, I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And remember it said, forgive someone. Forgiveness can hold you back in ways that are unseen because you don't realize that, you know, everything is cyclical. 
So that's the message. I feel like there should be one more. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. That's so beautiful. You and your animals are safe, and a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. And again, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, says Archangel Isaiah. I'm guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Let's see. I just feel drawn because this is, this is kind of, it's up to you. It's up to you and success. Like Our success is up to us, right? a simple message but ask for help from others whether it be your angels friends teachers guides I'm, I'm just feeling like you could just ask guidance ask for like a way shower someone on YouTube something free that just comes in maybe you already have a course and um, that you've been uh, working on and you're just like you know, I should finish that course. And they're going to, it's, you know, turns out to be super, super helpful. Prosperity lies ahead was the one that was stuck in there. Taurus, was that a Taurus full moon? Hold your vision. This is a big change, it feels like. Forgive someone. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. Show the world the real you. Meditate and contemplate. And don't let the past hold you back. All that thinking of expecting the worst, thinking about how things were, you know, it can't get any better. It's like, don't let the past hold you back. Don't let that, those think, that type of thinking hold you back. Be bold and make the first move. Your commitment is being tested. Conclusions are within reach, as my voice. So that's, until next time, we'll see you later, Gators. Praying for y'all.